All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We hit 10,000 subscribers again. We want to thank everybody again. Trey, if you want to pull that 10,000 subscribers up, if you guys comment Llama on any of our videos up until Super Bowl, you will be entered into winning $1,000 from us. The only catch is, come Super Bowl Sunday, you have to be in the chat to claim the prize. We're going to have a live at halftime. You have to be in the chat to claim the prize, and you have to comment Llama on any of the videos up until the Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But, Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. So, obviously, the intro is not going to have plays for today. But these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus 2.5, the Heat minus 5, Quinnipiac minus 4.5, and Wisconsin minus 10.5. Those are Trey's and myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so 4-3, to 6-2, to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're gonna do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're gonna get our. I don't know how we're gonna get our cheddar, but uh, you guys are just gonna have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully, everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. All right, guys, getting some NCAA basketball picks and props for Thursday, January twenty fifth slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Mister Seven and Zero, start us off. Yep, Seven and Zero, making it. 8-0 because you know what? I already have a lot of confidence in my play today, boys. If I don't have confidence in myself, who will have confidence in me? But yesterday, 1-0. and oh, That's because I gave up high point. Minus 6.5 going against South Carolina Upstate. And high point, guys, they controlled this game from the beginning. Ended up winning by 11 points. So we did cover pretty easily. Kamani Hamilton, 28 points, led us to a victory here. And just like I predicted, high point, they marched to the free throw line throughout this game, guys. They went 23 for 26 from the line. It was beautiful to watch. I mean, like I said, South Carolina Upstate, foul, 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 foul. Yes, and uh, I'm 0-0 right now. I've got Northwestern plus 4.5 at home. They're currently down by 1, 17-16, 10 minutes in, looking to go for a sweep so I can finally get a win on the board and get a sweep with Trey. Trey, let's go to the plays for tomorrow. I'll be starting off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to take a trip over to sunny California here, and I'm going to be taking this Cal State Bakersfield at Cal State Northridge game, and I'm very excited to watch this game. I've watched a handful of Northridge games this season, and they have cashed for us every single time. And I've only watched one Bakersfield game so far this year, but it was obvious as I was watching those games which team is better. Give me Northridge here at home, minus three and a half in this game. I absolutely love that we're getting such a low number. doesn't make any sense. Northridge, better team, and playing at home. Those are two huge factors in college basketball. Bakersfield, they enter this game with a 7-11 and 11 record. They're also 8-8 eight and eight ATS, but guys... The Roadrunners, 0-8 on the road this season. That is no bueno. And that has earned Bakersfield the 273rd ranking in the Ken Palm. That is in the bottom 100. And Northridge, they enter this game with a 13-6 record. They're also 13-4 ATS. And Northridge, they have been covering Warriors all season long. And the Matadors, they are 7-2 at home this season. And Northridge, they have the 237th ranking in the Ken Palm. So they are significantly better than Bakersfield. But the reason why I love Northridge to dominate here in this game is for a couple reasons. The first reason is, is because of the rebounding. Northridge, they come this game as the 21st best rebounding team in the nation. They love just collapsing at the glass and just grabbing all the boards. And that is great news for us because Bakersfield, they check in as the 26th worst rebounding team in the nation. They allow a lot of defensive rebounds, and that's good news for us because CSUN they're going to control the offensive glass here in this one. And another key stat for us here with uh, Northridge is Northridge, they take the 47th most free throws per game with 22.8 per game. And Bakersfield, just like with South Carolina Upstate yesterday, they love to foul. They allow the 52nd most free throws per game with an average of 21.7. So Northridge, they're easily going to reach 20-plus free throw attempts here in this game, and they shoot a really good percentage so they're at home. They're just going to march at the line. They're going to make their shots, play great defense. Give me Cal State Northridge here, minus three and a half versus Cal State Bakersfield. Yeah, Trey, I like the play there for you. For my play today, we're going to be looking at SMU going up against North Texas. 
I'm going to take SMU with the points, plus one and a half on the road here against North Texas. Both teams have been feeling themselves over the last five games, both of them collecting four wins in the last five games. The only difference is that SMU has covered the spread in five consecutive games, and North Texas coming into this game limping, failing to cover the spread in back-to-back games. And they're coming off a very poor performance against Charlotte. In that game against Charlotte, they only put up 44 points in the loss. That's been a problem all season long for this North Texas team. They're only scoring 67.5 points per game, and I think that's what's going to kill them in this one against the Mustangs. On the season, North Texas, they have the 324th ranked offense. And the reason that they're so successful this season has been the play of the defense. They rank third in the nation, giving up 58.3 points per game. But again, I don't know if it's going to be enough going up against SMU. The Mustangs, they're ranked 39th in the nation in Kim Palm rating, scoring 76.2 points per game. And their defense, it's also elite. They only give up 62 points per game. Both teams have great defenses, but only one of these teams can score consistently. This game's going to come down to which team can produce some offense with the great defense to play. The answer is SMU. Give me the Mustangs plus 1.5 as to play against North Texas. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off? With that low of a number, the president smashed the over there. But hey, that's going to be a knock them out, drag them out fight right there. Um, but honestly, Trey, I would have, I would have taken the over, but uh, I'm just looking for a win. Honestly, I don't want to put up two losses. Hey, you got to have confidence. You might. I'm as well confident. Have I just don't want to put up two right losses. There. I'm calm. Uh, but at the moment, I am 0 and 0. I gave out Keon Brooks Jr. over 20 and a half points versus Colorado, and game tips off in about an hour and a half. So has not started yet. Excited to get out here, watch that West Coast battle. Yeah, and I've got uh, Cam Jones go over 15.5 points going up against DePaul. I saw Marquette's pouring it on DePaul. I didn't check how many points Cam Jones has, but hopefully he can get us over that 15.5 for the rest of the game. Trey, let's go to the props for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, and uh, Bear gave out the game pick for this, but I'm going to give out a player prop. Give me Zurich Phelps to go under his points versus North Texas. I actually really love this under for Phelps in this game. He is a great scorer, but he is going to get a very tough test here versus North Texas because Phelps, he enters this game averaging 14.3 points per game, which is leading SMU as a team. So Phelps, he is definitely their go-to guy. But like I said, guys, I expect him to struggle in this one. That is because this North Texas defense is one of the best in the country. Bear kind of touched on it earlier, but I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper. They allow their opponents to 37.5% from the field. That is the seventh lowest in the country. In fact, they force their opponents to shoot and play at a very slow pace. They allow the 13th fewest field goal attempts per game and the second fewest made field goals per game with allowing a whopping 19.9 made field goals per game. That is, what, 10 per half? That is very impressive. And all those stats comes down to an average of 57.8 points per game allowed. That is the third lowest in the country. So whenever we factor in Phelps, he is a good scorer, but he's very inefficient. He only shoots 40.2% from the field and 26.4% from behind the arc. So being matched against this very tough defense and already inefficient Phelps, he's going to have a brutal day in the office, guys. Give me Zerg Phelps to go under his points versus North Texas. I mean, I like it with everything you said, but I don't like it for my SMU pick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like the play there, Trey. Uh, for my play today, we're going to be looking at Jonathan Mogbo to go over his total points going up against Gonzaga. Size and power is everything that Jonathan Mogbo is. And when you have size and power and you add in the ability to make anything inside the free throw line, you have one of the better power forwards in the nation. Jonathan Mogbo on the season, he's averaging 15.5 points per game, 10.5 rebounds per game, shooting the second best field goal percentage in the nation with 68% of his shots falling. And on the road this season is where he's been the most effective, scoring 16.7 points per game. 68% from the field goes to 72.3% from the field on the road, and he's averaging a double-double as well on the road. This is going to be a massive game for San Francisco. This is their Super Bowl every single season whenever they get to play Gonzaga twice. And Jonathan Mogbo is in great form coming into this game, scoring 18-plus points in four of his last five games. I really think San Francisco's going to try to run the offense through this guy, and I think he's going to be up for the challenge. Even though Gonzaga does have Graham Mike and Watson down low, I think Graham Ike's soft, and I, I think Jonathan Mogbo can take advantage of that. The only real issue we have here is the play of Watson, but Jonathan's been playing great this season. I have no reason to doubt him in this game. Give me Jonathan Mogbo to go over his total points against Gonzaga as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I went with Cal State Northridge minus three and a half versus Cal State Bakersfield. The taxpayers of California with these state universities are going to love to watch this game, uh, but I think Northridge is easily the better team. Not sure why the sign's so low. Pull out your hammer and smash it. Also going with Zurich Phelps to go under his points versus North Texas. Guy's good, but North Texas is better, boys. That name's Zurge. That's a Zurge. crazy name. Zurge, Zurge Phelps. That's a crazy name, first name for that, man. I'm going to go with SMU, plus one and a half. 
yes, North Texas defensively good. SMU's got a great offense, though. I think they can do enough to get the win in that one. And then give me Jonathan Mogbo over his points against Gonzaga. Like I said, I think Graham Mike's a little bit soft. And if he can beat it up on Watson, he's going to go over his total points. So I like Jonathan Mogbo as the play. Guys, that's going to do it for the NCAA plays and props for Thursday, January 25th, slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video. And thanks for watching. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button, right? Just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, BearsProfitPlays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself two bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 